All right, that should be better, I hope. Is it better? Testing. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so we got casual game. We got Voightness. By the way, guys, for those who don't know, casual gamer is Sean. Cause Sean be cool. Right, let's go. So, anyways, what I was saying earlier is, would you would you guys agree with that? Like. Throughout the game, there are hidden bosses, um, and, like, every time you defeat one of the bosses, depending on what element of that boss, like, some, let's say you have to come back to some towers, um, uh, <laughs> like, uh, if you went to the fire tower and you completed it, you're not gonna be able to fight that boss until after you've already defeated that tower. Alright, cool. All right, later, Sean. Oh. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, um, maybe you have to have a may ooh. Okay, there's uh, have you guys ever heard of Dragon Ball Z? Like uh, the um, the Game Boy Advance ones. Like how you had like level doors where you couldn't go beyond it unless you were a certain level. I think the boss room should have that kind of thing. Like, you have to be a certain level to go through that door. I like that a lot. That is... That's a really good idea. That is an awesome idea. It will. It definitely will. Maybe we should also have, like, leveled chests as well. Hmm. Like, you have to be, like, a certain level to unlock a chest. That might be a good idea. Or, or, we can make the, this thing called, like, the rich man's chest, where you have to have a certain amount of gold to open it. Like, like a, you put the gold in the thing. That'd be cool. <laughs> it's okay, Music Beast. That can be done, M3, but I think it'd be, like, a little bit difficult. I mean, it can be done, don't get me wrong. It's not that it's going to be difficult, it's going to be really time-consuming, which I'm okay with, because it's... Heck, we've been working on this for, I don't know how many days now, and it's not even, well, about two or three hours, actually, in actual hourly, like, actual time, but, I don't know. It is, like, 500 degrees here right now. <laughs> not literally, but it's really hot. Let's see. Ooh, okay. That'd be cool, Music Beast. Oh, hey, uh, Music Beast, do you think you can also make a track for, um, like, because basically what we're doing is we're going to have hidden bosses, and, like, every time you defeat the boss, like, they're not necessarily as hidden, but they're, like, behind these level doors where you have to be a certain level to get past the door. And, um, when you beat that boss, depending on what element it was, your own magic will increase. So, like, say you have fire. If you have fire, then you're going to increase to fire too. And you're gonna you're gonna lose fire one, and you know it's gonna be the same, but it's just gonna be a lot stronger. It'll also cost more. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get on uh, get on with the spells here. Fire level one, not eleven. Let's do fire level one. A basic fire spell cures donkey status. I don't know. A basic fire spell. Let's see, effects, uh, we're going to do, oh, that's interesting, where is it, um, no, I guess not it, how do we set the elements again, I forget, <laughs> HP damage, oh, here we go, element, fire, now here's the formula, the formula is kind of interesting, so, let me go ahead and explain how this works, in the formula, you have attack, magic attack, and all that. What we want to do is we want to have a base value. So we want it to at least do a base damage of 25 plus magic attack minus... Uh, How does the monster want to go again? 
Oh, I think it's M. Oh yeah, A is you and B is them. All right. So, plus our magic attack. Um, minus the uh, the magic defense of the enemy. So we're gonna do magic. Wait, B dot M def. So let's say for example we have uh, a magic attack of 50. It's going to do 25 plus 50, which is 75, and it's going to do 75 minus however much the enemy's magic defense is. <laughs> it's okay, Jeanette. I'm sorry, Music Beast. Uh, basically, there's going to be hidden bosses, and um, you have to be like a certain level, and every door will have a certain uh, a level door, like where you have to be a certain level to go through that door, and basically there's going to be a boss there in each of the elemental towers, and depending on how, like, you basically that's to upgrade your, your, uh, your magic. So like, right now we have like fire level 1. Yes, there is actually M3. Even if there wasn't, you can actually link a variable to, uh, you can actually have a variable equal to pretty much everything, like the player's level, his experience, and everything. And you can use a conditional branch on that variable. <laughs> alright, alright, is, uh, is Nagi. Yes. Some kind of like, uh, epic theme, because the, the hidden bosses are going to be much, much stronger. All right, so times two. No, I don't want to do that. All right, so let's test that fire spell out. Let's give uh, a battler here. Wait, let's give our witch actually the fire spell. Fire! All right, she learns fire at level one just as a test. Troops. Hello, Mr. Slimes. Alright, Isabel. Wait. Was it Isabel? No, it was, uh, Zareel. I'm, I'm a herp. I'm a herp to derp. Herp to herp to derp. Herp to burp. Herp to burp. Herp What? Let's test it on a skeleton, because we're, like, level 5. Oh, really? Hold on. Well, I'll look for it in a second. Alright, so it took no damage because of its uh, magic defense. So let's look at... Let's try it on a slime. He has 8 magic defense. We have uh, a magic attack of 19. So it's going to be 25 plus 19 minus 8. And a roundabout, of course. It's going to be like a little bit random. Up to 25. So the difference will be like in within 25, I believe. So let's test this on slimes. Let's do it. Oh no, I haven't, Music Beast. Uh, can somebody explain to... Dubbist? I'm just gonna call you Dubbist. Can somebody explain to Dubbist um, about the hidden bosses? Took no damage. Apparently my algorithm, my, the, what you call it, is wrong. My math is way off. What's going on here? Alright, skills. See, that's a simple one. It's... Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, okay. All we have to do is... Oh, okay. All we have to do is A dot magic attack times 4 minus B dot magic defense times 2. Basically, just like the uh, thing, but with, like, magic. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah, they are different, Music Beast. These battlers are from the DS pack. Why is he taking no damage, though? We should have, like, a whole lot more uh, magic attack. Why? What is going on? Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm doing something horribly wrong. Critical? No. Add state. Oh. Uh... 
Um, Fire Force? What? I don't even know what that is. Never mind. Um, I'm apparently messing up the thing. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again. Cast that. Weapon type? Well, it's not a weapon, so. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand. It's, it has the exact same thing as that, except for, like, magic. Hmm. Might have to actually open up a new RPG Maker and look at the original fire algorithm. Let me check that out, actually. I'm gonna take about a second here. Try to line it up so you guys can see. New project. Now let's go to skills. Look at the original fire. Oh, wow. That was, like, way different. Alright, let's just use the original fire's algorithm and try to get that. Alrighty, here. Dag nabbit. There we go. <laughs> I don't understand. It should have still done... That's a lot of damage, though. Holy crap. There we go. Oh, that's still a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, so we're going to use that. Now, as for the conditional branching... Hmm. Character... No. Uh... Actor... Alright. Since it's not there, what you would do... Huh? Uh, yes. I may be using the default battle system. I don't know 100% sure yet. Ooh, let's hear this. I like it. Heck, yes, dude. Oh my gosh. YouTube, MP3. <laughs> I am so using that. What? Oh, okay. Alright, side view. Alright. Um... Okay, we can do side view. Why not? Yeah, that's the thing. The eating. That's. Oh. I'll check this out real quick. What? Oh, it makes it MP3s. Alright, I'll get that in a second. Um, basically, right now, like, I want to go ahead and show M3 how to do the conditional branch on uh, levels. So you would do control variables, you would find a variable, well, I'm not going to name it, but you can name it if you want, um, and you would do, you would do game data, almost that's script, you would do character, player, and that's not it, you would do actor's level, here we go. Now, like, whatever actor you just selected, the game data, like, the game data is going to set this variable equal to his level. And then you can use a conditional branch to check if that variable is equal to whatever level you want. That's the way you can do that. Ooh, we got 10 people here. Call. Cool. You guys are amazing. <laughs> It'd be like so really cool if you guys could like follow my Tumblr blog. No. Alright, anyways. Ooh, 11 watching. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, when it comes to enemies, should we have them walking around and, like, if, uh... Ooh, I got an idea. Let's have the enemies, like, walk around, and if you defeat all of them, like, you get a, um... Like, you get a certain amount of experience. Almost like doing quests, like... A little thing shows up, so you get, like, maybe 100 experience and, like, 500 gold for completing the floor. I think I disturbed my rat. What are you doing, babe? He looks tired. I think he's gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, do you want my space? Alright, so you guys wanna do that? Element specific item? What do you mean?
Well, it's not bad, but I mean, we're using a witch as this character for now. Now, certain enemies not shown. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, Jamaican. Event window. Okay, I'm gonna check that out actually. Hold on, give me a second here. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, looks fancy. I like that. That's that's kind of neat. Definitely going to install that later. Like once I get everything planned. Need the car engine too. Okay. All right. So let's get back to the skills. We have fire level one. Basically, how the leveling up is gonna work is just gonna magnify the amount of damage. It's gonna be four. So your attack's pretty much gonna be doubled if you use fire level two. Your fire attack, uh, that is, is gonna be doubled. And last, but I don't know if we should have like a level three or not, where it doubles again. Uh, let's try. Yeah, I think we are gonna have a level three. No, let's try using fire level two real quick and see how that works. Two of you. Use fire level one. Oh, sorry, I gotta change the text. That done 213. That 196 is not that big a difference. Um. Times 14? <laughs> it's like, I don't know how much difference. Oh, thank you, uh, Jeanette. I will look at that. Oh, that's so much better. Yes. That's a massive increase. Um, I think we're going to keep that. Cast fire level 2. Alright, let's go ahead and install that, actually. Alright. I got a bunch of scripts here. Who's this by? Former. Right, I gotta add it in the uh, title. See how that works. The side battle. I gotta realign the uh, enemies. <laughs> oh, gotta have zero battlers. Hmm. Elemental star. So do I just like export the uh, sprite? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? I just had to expand this thing, but... Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, exporting needed. Alright, I'll just get rid of this old one then. And... That do I have to download it or does it include the script somewhere? Dang it, I wish I can you know what? I wish I can actually expand this, but I don't want to mess up the chat. Alrighty. Yeah, I think I have to download it and like 
I tell you what, we'll get the scripts definitely at a later time. Um, like I might like do that off screen. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Uh, yan fly. Cool. Got to change my text here. Alrighty, test it out. I don't know why I'm doing this. You know what that reminds me? I was gonna show off the beginning of the thing. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's, that was my fog system. Oop, chat. Yeah, it works. La, 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 la. <laughs> Scripting's not really like the worst thing. I mean, if you, uh... it's just scary at first. Like when you start getting used to it, though, it's actually kind of fun. Though it can really get on your nerves when you know it glitches out. Get what battle engine? Stop and bat, Willis. Stop and bat. Type magic. Magic. I got Yan flies. That's the one we installed just now. The one you just sent, the Yan flies script. Here, look. The how? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it is the battle engine. Alrighty, let's do it. Alrighty. Yan fly too. Does he know how to fly? No, oh, that's stupid. Alrighty, testing the battle. Ooh! Yeah, a little more fancy. Holy <laughs> mother of code and text. Ooh! Is this also from uh, Yanfly? I'm guessing. I'm east. Oh, you're oh you're east. I thought you said is east because like my I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> All right. I'm like I didn't know I was east. Oh, I closed the stupid chat. Mother, hold on. Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. I'll get the chat back. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> I closed the chat. I'm like, are you serious? Oh, heck yeah. Alright. You know, I'm just gonna, like, merge all these Yanfly scripts. All right, I'll check out the HP bars. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The red slimes would really fit on this map. What up, East? I know, it's okay, East. I know. It's okay. Calm down, bro. Wait, what? Okay, I'm being my... Flaming Slime is definitely a good idea. <laughs> they did. Alright, skills. I gotta give these things animations. Fire. Oh my gosh. 
Fire one. Fire one. Let's get this fire to... There we go. It's okay. Are these all from Yanfly, the things that you gave me just now? I hope they are. Okay. Okay. Cool. Is this by Yanfly as well? Yep. Shall we? Yes, sir enough. <laughs> cool. World's longest script right now. Close you, you, and you. Eat a wild gazelle. Nom nom nom. I'll do you better. I'll take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> Very reasonable way. Alright, let's do it here. Craig versus Gazelle! Roy! It's always Craig versus something. I'm really gonna like this game, guys. This is gonna be real fun. Alright, we should just change the original slime into fire slime. No, we already got fire slimes. A herp a derp. You change into red. Oh, maybe he has fire level one. Ooh, maybe the boss can actually use the spell that you're going to be using on him. The bigger learning on him on you. What? Yeah, definitely. I wish I can get this MP3 now. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back up. Well, dang it, I already lost that link. History time. Here we go. I finds it. I are finds it. Compared to MP3. Ah, oh, that works too. You get spells when you like... Basically, uh... There's a- there's hidden bosses in the game and like, yeah, you have to defeat them to upgrade your fire spell and all that good stuff. Gonna actually go on RPG Maker after three million years. Oh, cool! All right, the Hama Mario. It's cool. East. I know. It's okay. <laughs> Just make a username, dude. All right. Um. Yeah, man. Just making making username, bro. Make a starter sound a piece of one on. Why not? <laughs> Wait, what? Did it convert? Oh, here we go. I gotta import it. As a massive, like, mess through all my insane downloads. What the crap was the file called? I don't even know. I show all downloads. Charge. Look at all these. Here we go. Alright. Go here. System. Title. Battle. Charge. Let's see how it sounds sped up. Ooh. Hey, Canes. Yeah, three million years is pretty much a long time. He doesn't care. What? Oh, Fable TLC. No, I have not played it yet. I've only played the first Fable game, and that's because I pirated it a long time ago. I didn't really get far into it, though. Of course, I don't have it any longer, but I was on my old PC. <laughs> I no longer pirate, though. Like, I don't like pirating anymore. Yeah, I try to be, like, legit with everything now. So, you guys think it sounds good? Eh, let's keep it at normal speed. Now let's see how this battle goes. 
And I'm going to make it look like the fire stage. Change this battle back here. Yeah. Because, you know, fire place totally has ice and wood on it. <laughs> nice cover up. Mm, it's not quite. There we go. That looks alright, doesn't it? Let's test this battle out. Holy mackerel. Alright. <laughs> Bubblegum slimes. Tasty. Om nom nom nom. Oh wow. Nice pun. Music beast. I like. Yes, I like. All right, um, perimeter, no, what was it? Mm, how do I make her more resistant? Oh, here we go, I don't want to write. Fire. Let's make it do 75 instead. I'm like, like elemental wise, like just every like certain elements do more. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and increase her magic defense a lot. Fifty and three hundred. Oh, that's huge. That's strong. Thank you, M3. Yeah, one to a million dollar. <laughs> I would love that. Like, I would... I don't know what I would do. <laughs> it does? That's okay, Kane. Let's try this out now. We can always just give the uh, the little slime guys like a whole lot of a less attack. Yeah, we're gonna give them less. Um, yeah, we're just gonna balance it all out. It's not gonna it's not gonna be that hard. I didn't. A. All right, so we're going to do enemies. They're not gonna have fire. They're gonna have like a bootleg fire. It's just going to be called fire. And it only does this. Minus that times two. Now the enemy will cast it. What? Oh. There we go. Hi, Anon. Thank you so very much. I love you for that, M3. I also gotta make them resistant to fire. Really? That's much better. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be fighting for them at a time anyway. Yes! How so strong! Oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and add these little guys in. Cool. 
cool. It's so perfect. We got like little fire buddies. Random. Wait. Custom. Uh, random. Hold on. Let's do approach first. Let's see. Come on. I'll move towards. And approach. Approach, approach, random. Skip if cannot move. Now we're going to do player touch. Hmm. This is how many correct brownie points. <laughs> Brownies and butter? Ew. It'll keep things called puffies. <laughs> event touch or play touch. Event touch, though, I think would uh, trigger, like, if this event touched another event. I think. I could be wrong. Let me try that. We're going to do... Well, nothing yet because I didn't set up the troops. And we can actually make it always random, I guess. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do that. Make that random. Um, battle. This is going to determine how many there are. We're going to set random uh, zero to one. If it's zero, oh, not loop. All right. Uh, let's see, if the battle is equal to zero. Battle processing. Uh, fire slime. Yes. Else, battle processing fire slime too. Can escape? Sure. If when we're just gonna erase the event so you can easily come back to it later. No, never mind. Let's just... I don't know. Should the enemies respawn after you leave the map and come back? No? Okay, maybe we'll have, like, random battles, like, on the world map or something. Okay. Yeah, okay, so in that case, let's have a respawn, like, or let's have random battles, like, when you're on the world map. That way you can grind for EXP. Hi, Volume Deluxe. How you doing? Alright, yeah, the towers can be cleared out. And then the uh, the world mass will have random battles. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. If you win, we're going to say control variables. We're gonna have to have a lot of variables here. We're gonna do fire floor one. Do add one. This is gonna determine if the enemy was defeated or not. Then we're gonna do a self switch A is on to permanently. Oh yeah. I just want to end off this event to see how that looks. This is it. I'm just going to use erase event for a quick second to see how it works. Thank you, little slimy. Hi, slimy. <laughs> what? You're supposed to not do that. Oh, harpa darpa. Wrong thing. Huh? 
Banana is on. I swear, Mr. Music Beast, like, music, it fits so insanely well. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, well. Apparently we can't see ourselves. <laughs> huh? All right. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to do something here. I'm just gonna have to do this real quick. Wait, I do you want to keep your race event? Combine combine the gems to make an alternate gem. Utilize a different type of element, like. Divine magic. Not a bad idea. Oh, some of the. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> Combined McGuffins. I don't know why, but that makes me want something chocolatey. <laughs> Alright, uh. We are gonna turn the transparent flag off. So as I can find it. There we go. Change transparency off. <laughs> Jeanette. Oh. But I do want to transfer the player uh, to that spot. She moved up, like, what, twice? Yep. Alright. And then we're going to change transparency off, and then we're going to do erase event. Just for a quick test. We're not going to keep erase event, so don't use erase event during event, guys. It's ironic as it sounds. Apparently we have no graphic because we didn't add a party member. Alright, we gotta add a party member, that's all. Dang, nab it. Oh, what's up, Hyper? Hmm. Change party member. Let's add the real. Keeping it real. No. <laughs> and we're going to change the player speed back to uh, the default. I also want to add like a little more slimes as a quick test. What am I doing again? Oh, I changed speed. Now we're going to test this out. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I thought I'd type at the beginning I'd seen one person. Oh. Excuse me. Well, like I said, I was going to add more slime. But I didn't. Yes! Come at me, bruh! What? Oh, uh, why? What? Why is it still action button? Oh well. I like this. All right. It's event touch. I don't get it. It's the same as characters. Oh, we have throw on. Oops. I gotta change that off. Throw off. Five. I guess six enemies should be good, right? Popcorn. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Sixteen viewers. I only need like five hundred in total to be a partner, though. Oh well. 
I know, I didn't assign a battle back yet. I might actually change the, uh, the battle back to where it actually shows the map itself. I can also animate it, like the battle bag. I can make it, like, have scrolling fog. I'll show you what I mean in a second. It's like, if I wanted to, I hope F9 doesn't do anything to the stream. Oh, what? Camtasia, why are you still open? See? I have a fog script, guys. Oh, this would go great in here as like a steam kind of thing. I can actually make a steam script. Oh, that'd be nice. I think the I think the fog goes amazing in here. Cuz I haven't uh changed it yet. Oh my gosh. Guys, what do you think of the uh the the fog like in the dungeon? But it, it makes the enemy stronger, though, because of the default script that I had. We can also have the fog in the battle, too. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah, uh, it changes the enemy because of the thing that I had set up from the previous time I uh, did the game. Which is fine. Clear page. Clear page. Clear page. Cool! We're first. Uh, how many are there, there streaming? Alrighty. Uh, let's go back to this event here. I'm going to turn switch number 98 on to activate the fog. Hehehe! <laughs> Interesting. Alright, now let's see how this looks. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going to be amazing. Look at that. Wow. It's very kind of a uh, buggy. It's only because I think. And yeah, now it's not buggy. I like this a lot. <laughs> Eyes are bloodshot. Now the battles will also be foggy. Oh, that is the coolest thing. Even though the fog freezes when they do uh, attacks, but that's okay. That's not a big deal, is it, guys? Ooh! I like. Yes, Mr. Music Beast created all the music that you hear here. In the, in, in the cave, in the battle music. The, the title music was actually from the DS pack. Oh, this is the awesomest thing like, in the world. Wow. Guys, this game is going to be freaking sweet. Now, I want to have a conditional branch that checks if, uh, I guess we'll use this. No, use another one. If the, um, the variable, if you defeated all six enemies, then it's going to say, congratulations, you've cleared the floor. Yeah, that works. And we're gonna do C2 500. Wait, 200 EXP, I guess, for at first. 
and C3. Let's do, I'm trying to find like a good yellow. There we go. Now there's a trick. Now here's a good trick. You can actually save. Uh, oh, that's really cool. If the, um, if a smart enough person plays this, like, what they'll do is they'll wait. They won't actually finish any of the dungeons yet, and they'll wait till like they have a full party, and then all the entire party can gain the experience. I like it. A good mic for recording piano loops? Uh, depends on how like like um how much you can afford. Like what what would you be able to afford? What I recommend doing is buying a MIDI keyboard. Like buying a MIDI keyboard, like one of those little keyboard things, and you plug it into your computer and use this thing called AISOL or something. I forget. It's some kind of drivers that you can download. And you can use FL Studio, and you can record music through that, through your keyboard, onto FL Studio. Monster maybe. Alright, um... 500 gold. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I think that'll work. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just play like a music thing. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. Then we're gonna do self switch A is on. Cool. Now let's defeat all six enemies and try that out. <laughs> FL Studio is a music designing program. To defeat fire slimes! <laughs> it's legit. Oh, that would be cool! Yes, Music Beast. I would love if you did that. Wow. Uh, guys, I can literally say that I'm proud to be making this game with you guys. And to make sure it stays safe, I'm going to back it up right after this uh, video, this live stream. I'm going to back it up and. You know, on Dropbox, because there's no way I'm letting this get lost, even if my computer does crash in the future. Wait, what just happened? Oh, you can skip your turn? No, I don't want to skip my turn. Oh, look at me being a genius. Well, we know I died. Maybe not. Thank goodness for free spells that don't cost MP. Huh. Oh, I also need to um, change the bio. I'm gonna we're gonna have a bio system from later on. We're also gonna have achievements. I have an achievement system that I'm gonna kind of do. I need I need health. Need health. Need health. Ooh, auto backup script. Oh, thanks for the gold. Uh, not like I needed health or anything. Wall glitching for the win. Yes, high potion. I need you right now. What is the uh, auto backup? How does that work? I'm gonna check that out later. You know, I could just drop this entire project into Dropbox. That'd work too. That's a good, that's a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. 
So that's almost all the slimes. Huh? No, it's my own little achievement system that I made. I, I just kind of like a little thing that I programmed. I think this is the last line. Cool, look at that! I like it. Or obtained. I, I can easily go up on the line before that. And then like, yes, infinite. No. <laughs> but uh, and then that could you know like, cool. I'm gonna save this. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to back up this project like right now. BX Ace. Legacy Dropbox. BX Ace. And there goes my old project. Oh well. So we're we are making a pimp game. What's this? Yes! I want it! Is that a melon? What the heck is that thing? Yeah, I think you need to type. Yeah, even then it didn't work. Oh, dag nabbit. Oh well. Just replace. Babana. A babana? It is now a babana. I want a babana. Anyways, guys, it has been over an hour, so I am going to stop this stream. I had fun. I really, really love streaming with you guys. I don't know why my webcam was hidden this entire time. It was supposed to be here. Well, no. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, um, anyways, guys. So, yeah. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And please enjoy this infinite loop. No. Anyways, guys. See you later. It's been an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and end off this stream. Again, I thank you guys. And, yeah. Do check out my Tumblr, please. That would be really cool. No. See you guys later. You guys are all amazing. My dog's barking. <laughs>